Welcome to another telco-centric tutorial. My name is Ash and I'll be guiding you through today's content. In this video, you'll learn to navigate the 3CX V18 interface and we'll go through basic call handling, adding custom shortcuts to your soft or physical phone, and much more. In our last video, we learned how to install and provision the 3CX desktop app. Once this is done, I suggest setting some preferences. Right-click on the 3CX icon in your taskbar and enable both options. Now, when you boot your computer, the 3CX app will start automatically. And if you receive any calls during your workday, the dialer will automatically show up. To enable these settings, close and reopen the 3CX app. Let's start with the People tab. Here, we can see other users on your system. We have the option to call, video call or message them. And they can also be favorited. Click the three dots for some other options. Next, we'll look at using the dialer, which can be accessed by the phone icon on the top right. The search bar can be used to search for any contacts or dial a number or extension. Note the option to select the device being used to make your call. If a desk phone is connected to your extension, you'll see that option here too. Now, let's call SCOMA's old friend, Malcolm Turnbull. Once the call has been answered, we have a number of options. Attended transfer, transfer, conference, new call, mute, and hold. When placed on hold, the caller will experience your global hold music. You can either transfer or attend a transfer the call to another number or extension. We suggest attend a transfer as a best practice so that you can explain the nature of the call to your colleagues. Now, let's transfer the call to Tony Abbott, Malcolm's other best friend. Malcolm is automatically placed on hold as we dial out to Tony. Having explained the nature of the call to Tony, I can now join the calls, dropping out myself. Having set my preferences earlier, when I receive a call, the dialer simply pops up. Now, let's learn about the chat features. Here, our private and group chats can be viewed. To create a new chat, click the plus icon in the top left. Click on the chat name to view participants, conversation history, set up a meet, and more. 3CX's Meet feature allows you to schedule audio, video, or webinars, either immediately or at a later date. Meet also integrates with a number of calendars for scheduling and invites to third parties. The Calls tab shows call history. To filter, click the drop-down in the top right. For contacts, voicemail, and settings, click the three dots. Contacts reveals the company phone book. Did you know 3CX can integrate with your CRM and Office 365 databases? Contact our team if you'd like to know more about the custom integrations we built for 3CX. The voicemail menu allows you to view, download, play, call back, delete, and view the transcription of voicemails. The voicemail will be played via 3CX registered device like a desk phone, mobile app, or desktop app. Hi Scott, Tony Abbott here, just wondering how you're doing with the new policies. Alternatively, you can download the web file and play it from your Windows device. Hi Scott, Tony Abbott here, just wondering how you're doing with the new policies. Your status and greetings enable you to communicate with internal team members, as well as decide what happens to external calls when you're not available. To set status, click on your profile image and select an option. We'll set it to business trip. Now, to customize your status and greetings, go to settings, status, and add a custom message. You can also set where internal and external calls are forwarded based on status.
I'd like all external calls to be forwarded to Anthony Albanese. Editing greetings is a simple process. To hear an existing greeting, click play. It will play through your default device on the dialer. Alternatively, download and play the WAV file. Hello, you've reached Scott Morrison. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. To add a new greeting, click record greeting, name and save. VLFs are a series of shortcuts that appear on desk phones and 3CX apps. On the desktop client, they are located in the dialer. Let's customize our VLFs. Go to Settings, VLFs, I'll delete these and start fresh. Typically, Telco Centric will add Shared Parking 1 and Shared Parking 2 as the first of VLFs. Shared Park is a system-wide space where you can place a caller. Anyone in the organization can then engage with the call on the Shared Park. BLFs allow us to quickly engage with frequent contacts. For example, after pressing the Transfer or Conference buttons, you can then click on the BLF to transfer to the required person. Let's conduct a test call and use the BLFs to transfer. At this stage, rather than searching for the number or contact, we simply click the BLF. Great, the call was successful, I will now join them. Next, I'll demonstrate the shared park feature. After making the call to Malcolm Turnbull, I can then place him on shared park one using the BLFs. This means anyone in the company can click on shared park one and talk to Malcolm. For those with supported headsets, we suggest integrating them with 3CX for full functionality. Go to settings, audio slash video, and select your headset brand from the integration list. Congratulations, you should now have all the skills required to make the most of your 3CX phone system. In our next video, we'll show you how to install and provision the iOS and Android apps. As always, our support team is ready to assist should you have any difficulties. I've been your host, Ash, and I'll see you next time.